Ipop reacts to burning of Ohane's Ndibu President General Obiazo's house. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The group alleged that those involved in the attack are sponsored criminals. The indigenous people of Biafra Ipop has exonerated itself from the attack of unknown gunmen on the house of President General of Ahaneze Ndibu Worldwide, Professor George Opiazo, in our Mama Inoru East Local Government Area of Imo State. Ipop in a statement on Monday signed by Ima Powerful, its spokesperson described the attack on Obiazo's house as a barbaric shame and disgraceful act. The group alleged that those involved in the attack are sponsored criminals who are against the struggle for the independence of Biafra and the liberation of Unam de Kano. It further promised to find the culprits behind, Dex, behind the Dex deadly act. The statement reads, We the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra are probably led by a great leader, Mazi Nam de Kano, totally condemned the burning of the house of Professor George Obiozo the President General of Ohanese. These barbaric acts is shameful and disgraceful to Ndibu. There is no gain saying the fact that criminals behind this ducks behind this cowardly act are those against the liberation of Biafra and the release of our leader Mazi Inamda Kano so as to create the wrong impression that Biafra agitators are violent. Those behind these evil acts have nothing to do with IPOP, ESN or Biafra agitation. They are sponsored criminals and must be made to face the consequences of their actions. We don't consider Professor Biaz an enemy of IPOB and Biafra struggle. So anybody targeting him is fragile on dangerous ground. He has done nothing to deserve such devilish and wicked attack. IPOB M branch unit will stop at nothing in unraveling this behind this dastardly act. The criminal elements being recruited by evil politicians wrecking havoc across our land should stop the murderous activities or brace up for IPOB. Wicked politicians must be held responsible for the ongoing destruction of Igbo land. IPOB is ready to confront these criminals created by the politicians in the name of a Bubago security outfit, which they intend, intended to use to replace ESN. Ibubago security outfits has turned to a known government terrorizing our people. They are involved in kidnappings and burning of our people's properties and houses in Imo State and other states. ESN operated near the cooperation of the public to deal with the Ibubago security outfit because they have been a thorn in the flesh of our people and must be stopped. Civilians taking soldiers and DSS to burn people's properties or houses must also stop. Or blame yourself for whatever that may befall you. No, this is actually wrong. This is wrong in all dimension. This particular man here has done nothing wrong. IPOP is not the problem of this country. They are part of a solution. The elder realized this, the better for us. Okay. I think the police and hope they didn't say they have destroyed the known gunmen in Nemo State. What is happening, if I may ask, exactly my point. And recently we heard that Hope Zadima went to Abuja and was given more men, more personnel, more arms and ammunition. And they have refused. And I don't know why any of the Southeasterners have actually refused to tow the part of dialogue, to advise the federal government and co to tow the part of violence. Well, we hope that... At the end of the day, the people who are buying this act that are brought to book and this man gets justice. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.